What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to be talking about running a single command in Linux could brick an entire laptop, which particularly it's an MSI laptop. And I'll have this article in the description below, it's really really interesting, where uh, two guys, uh, the user's name is uh, 9233, him and his friend decided to destroy, they wanted to get rid of Arch Linux and reinstall, but they said they fa they found it it would be fun, instead of just reinstalling Arch Linux like normal, which you would get a USB or CD and just reinstall it, they wanted to watch the GNOME installation die, which, I don't know. But they, they said it was bloated, which it happens sometimes if you don't run your Arch installation properly, which I've had that before when I, when I first started Arch Linux a couple of years ago. And they deleted, they used the command right here, rm-rf no preserve root. And that's supposed to remove the root partition. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to watch the uh, GNOME installation die. By running this command, it would delete the root partition. But on this particular laptop, for some reason, and it's explained here, when you run this command, it destroyed the folder, SYS, firmware, EFI, e EFI vars. And in this folder, it stores the modern EFI standard, the, the, mod the EFI, or the BIOS. EFI is the modern standard, which replaced the old, outdated BIOS now. It destroyed the entire folder holding the firmware of the EFI loader. So the, the computer won't even power on anymore. So the entire laptop is bricked. So, uh, it's just crazy. A whole thread discussion uh, about this issue is on uh, GitHub. The systemd repository on GitHub is full of discussion between developers arguing that the EFI boot data is stored should not be entirely writable. The Linux installation should only be able to read the EFI, not be able to write to it and destroy it. This computer is entirely bricked and that's... I feel bad for the, the guys who bricked the laptop. If it was a modern laptop, that really... It really does suck. It's an MSI laptop, MSI notebook, but I don't know. It goes to show you if you really need to reinstall install Linux, especially Arch Linux, I would recommend not to run this command, but to just get a new CD or a USB and just reinstall properly. Don't do anything fancy with a command that's going to possibly destroy your EFI firmware on your motherboard and you're done. You can't boot a computer. I don't even know how you can't. I, it's a hard, it's a, they even said it here, it's a hard uh, bricked, it's hard bricked, and once you're hard bricked, you're not getting out of it. I, I've had experience with bricking on iPhones when I used to jailbreak some devices, I had a lot of experience with that where an entire phone could be bricked. It's just, it can be, it can be a very messy situation if you brick a device. So that's going to be it for this quick little article. What do you think about this command being able to brick a laptop very, very quickly? Leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. As always, my name's Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.